any sex that was initiated by a woman is more enjoying and more satisfying to a man than the one that the man requested or initiated by himself. So women that want to satisfy their husbands sexually should occasionally learn how to initiate sex. Men love it. Don't leave the initiation of sex to your husband alone. It is sexy to a man when you initiate sex. Hello, you are welcome again to my channel. My name is Blessing Ejechi. In this channel, we'll discuss about marriage, relationship, and sex in marriage. So today we want to discuss how to satisfy your husband sexually. This topic was requested by some of my subscribers who actually demanded that I should do a video on how to satisfy one's husband sexually since I have done the one for the men on how they can satisfy their wives sexually. Now, let me begin by saying that there is a misconception that has been believed by many women. Many women think that once a man has actually come to orgasm, that he is sexually satisfied. I want to tell you that that is not true. It is a misconception. It is an error for you to believe that once your husband has come to orgasm, that he has automatically become satisfied. The truth is that there are certain things that if you fail to do them, your husband will come to orgasm, but that man was not sexually satisfied. It is your duty as a woman to make sure that your husband enjoys sex. And these things that you will do, I will be giving you about six things that you can do. When you do them, your husband will be sexually satisfied. If you want your husband to be sexually satisfied, number one thing that I would like you to be doing is initiate sex. Any sex that was initiated by a woman is more enjoying and more satisfying to a man than the one that the man uh, requested or initiated by himself. So women that want to satisfy their husbands sexually should occasionally learn how to initiate sex. Men love it. Don't leave the initiation of sex to your husband alone. It is sexy to a man when you initiate sex. Number two of what you should be doing occasionally to actually heighten your husband's satisfaction during sexual activity in the home is make sounds. Moon very well. When your husband is touching you, when your husband is making sure that you are satisfied during the interplay between you and your husband, during the act, the sound you make is very, very important. If you keep mute, you keep quiet, and your husband is trying his best to make sure that you are satisfied, but you, you keep quiet, you are not really showing him that you are enjoying what he is doing. That man will be thinking that he is working in vain. He may, he may even be thinking that he's not doing anything. When you begin to make sound, what you are doing is you are telling the man that you appreciate what he is doing, that he is trying his best, that he is really satisfying you. If you make sound as if he is beating you, as if you are not enjoying it, as if you are in pain, the man is not going to enjoy that sexual activity. But when you are making sound, Telling him that you are enjoying it. Sound of pleasure. Morning of pleasure. He will be okay. Even if he ejaculates, he will feel as he has really accomplished something. But when you keep mood, that man will not enjoy that sex. I have told you that it doesn't end when a man comes to orgasm. It's all about satisfaction. A man gets satisfaction from sex knowing fully well that he has done his own part, that he was able to play his role during the interplay. But when he feels that he has not been able to satisfy his wife, he will not feel pleasure. He will not get satisfied. 
Number three of what you can also do is to participate in the sexual activity. It is not that your husband will say, uh, let us go to the other room and uh, you just lie down and spread your leg and you will not do anything. You tell your husband, come and enter and come and go. It doesn't sound sexy. It doesn't really, that man will not be satisfied. If you are doing that as a woman, you need to stop it. Please, if you are a man that is watching this video, I would like you to share this video with your wife so that she know what to do. It is not sexy for a woman to just lie down without participation. Sex is supposed to be participatory. When a man dress closer, you dress closer. When a man touch you, you know how to touch him. So, sex must be participatory. A satisfying sex must be a sex between a man and a woman who are participating. It takes cooperation to make the sex to be sweet. A sex that is not participatory will not be enjoying to a man. If a man is the only one that is doing the work, you should know that that man was not satisfied. Even when you feel that he came to orgasm, that man was not satisfied. Another thing that you can do during sex to make your husband satisfied is when you are in the act, you should begin to touch his erogenous zones. Those places that gives him pleasure. Those places that gives him pleasure, you can begin to use your hand to touch his ball, to touch his head, touch his breast, you know. You can ask your husband to know those places that actually gives him pleasure. If your husband is playing the role with you, you should also play a role by beginning to discover, to begin to explore those erogenous zones, those places that will give him pleasure. When you begin to do those things, you are also giving him pleasure. When you touch those places, you are also satisfying the man. As the man is satisfying you, so you also begin to look for ways to satisfy him. One of the ways of satisfying your husband is to participate, not only participate, begin to look for those places you need to touch in order for the man to feel pleasure also during the sex. A man's pleasure does not only come from his penis, no. It can also come from other places of his body. So you need to explore it as a woman to make sure that you give him the utmost pleasure that he also demands from you as a woman. Another thing you can do in order to satisfy your husband sexually is to be present within the hour. When you are having that relationship with your husband, you should be present. Don't be absent-minded. When you are meeting with your husband, don't begin to think about the market. Don't begin to think about the engagements, the business you have. No. Let your mind be there. A man will enjoy sex when he is aware that the woman he is having this sexual play with is present in the moment. He will enjoy it. But when you are doing it absent-mindedly, that man will feel bad, though he may release, he may come to orgasm, but that does not mean that the man is satisfied. A man coming to orgasm does not define that the man was satisfied. It is not true. There are things that you can do as a woman to make sure that you lit up the fire, you satisfy your husband. And the sixth thing that you can do also as a woman is to ask him questions. When you are interacting with him, you are participating with him during that sexual play, you ask him, what should I do? Where should I touch? You know, begin to ask him about his fantasies, those things he wants you to do for him. When you ask this question, you'll be amazed at what your husband will begin to say. Many women think that it is only them that actually need to be worked upon. No, the men also need your participation. Your husband needs you to do certain things that he may not have told you. Men still have sexual uh, fantasy. Ask them question. Communicate. When you communicate during this sexual play, you'll be amazed at what your husband will begin to say. I believe that if you put these six things I've said, your, your marriage is going to blossom and the sex life with your husband is going to skyrocket. Please, I have picked another video for you.
that will also help you to boost your relationship, your marriage, and your sex life. Please click the next video so that you can watch and uh, get more information. God bless you.